Okay. Good morning, everyone. Or, or uh, evening. For you guys, it's probably pretty late. 7 p.m. I guess it's not too late. I'm going to play about an hour of games this morning uh, before I go to church. And uh, I picked up four demos. Odd Sparks. Summer House. Synergy. And TerraTech Worlds. So uh, let's hop into the most lightweight of them. Which appears to be Summer House. And uh, we'll we'll get this we'll get this thing a roll in here. I haven't played any of these before. And this is hi, Friedman. Uh, I haven't played any of these before, so I'm going completely blind. Uh, let's make a new house. Not in the demo. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice. Okay, we got Wazd. Can we make a float? Yep, we can make a floating house right up in the air. You can just put the trees right up in the air here. Um, okay. So there's trees. The random thing. Oh no, that's a stop sign. Is it a stop sign? Hey bro, how's it going? How many names do you have? What is that? This is Summer House. Oh, I see. You can select a whole bunch of different things here. Um, so this is just like a, a canvas, like a simple voxelated canvas I see uh, search okay so when you switch to another one I see it switches to a random thing window window different window door If you hold it down, does it... no. I don't know what that does. Oh, I see. Um, summer house go burr! What do you do here? I, it looks like you just... it's like um, a very pixelated... Uh, a very pixelated kind of canvas thing that doesn't seem to be any simulation involved whatsoever. Um, it's got like a foreground and a background layer kind of thing going on. There's some tags you can put on stuff. Alright. Interesting. Um, settings. Replay speed, music, gameplay, sp and yeah. So it's just it's kind of like um, Townscaper, only 2D and pixelated. A toy, a fun toy. Quick game. All right. Microsoft Paint, but it's pixelated. Yeah. Well, it's got you know it's got a bunch of uh, stamps you can put on. Summer house. That's cute. Summer house store page. How much does summer house cost? It's not available yet. Only the only the the demo. I don't know how much it's gonna cost. Doesn't say. All right, next. Uh, what do we want here? Odd sparks. Let's play some odd sparks. See if that see if that uh, has any interest. So it looks like kind of a factory game, but it's more like fantasy themed fantasy themed factory game we'll see it's taking much longer to launch than summer house much longer uh, I think all of these are window games so steam might have some trouble with this stuff Terratech worlds should I try that one instead I'm trying to launch uh, trying to launch this odd sparks thing but it's doesn't seem to be working Play. I want to save the game so much. Alright, fine. Here we go. Terratech Worlds. Let's see if we can get Terratech Worlds to work. Oh! Microsoft Visual C++ Runtime. Let's see if that works here. Oh man, I agree to Unreal Engine. Hey, Alia Nahir! Setup failed! 
Installation failure. So it looks like TerraTech Worlds won't run on Linux. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can force compatibility. I'll try Proton 80. It's got to re-download the whole thing. That's me in the screen. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Terratech was your favorite game for a while? Well, it looks like it might not run on Linux. Game's ready to play. Launching. Here we go. Maybe. All right, well, maybe we lucked out with the summer house thing. Play. Let's go. Launching. Doesn't work. Oh, I see. Yeah, there you are. One minute played recently. Yeah, so this is a demo. Um, TerraTech Worlds. I don't think I played TerraTech before, but it looks like kind of a physics sim game kind of deal. You can make yeah you can make different vehicles and you can build things and use a tiny little laser so it's uh it's got a um, astroneer kind of flavor and it is coming soon terratech worlds is coming soon not out yet but it looks like we can't play terratech worlds either Let's try one more time. We'll try Proton Experimental. And it has to re-download it again. Hopefully it doesn't like keep downloading multiple versions of this thing. Does it delete the old versions? I don't know. Oh! Oh! Here we go! This looks promising. Promising. There we go. All right. Pre-release demo. New game. Unnamed planet. Tutorial. Launch. Whoa, it's working! All right. We got... We got mouse look. Oh, we got real snappy mouse look. A uh, bit of um, a pretty aggressive gimbal lock prevention here, but it's okay. Um, e to continue. All right, it's locked us out of, yep, targeting. Aim at targets in sequence. Use to aim at the first target. There we go. Oh, I see. All right, now I can use WASD. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yep. Nice. Head to the second platform. Okay, here we go. Around some rocks. Collect the resources at the third block. What happens if we crash into these? Nothing. Oh, now, that's interesting. I can turn in place. And when I go backward, I turn the same direction so it, it doesn't use the reverse reverse steering which is a little weird it's gonna have to take some some getting used to here correct the collect the resource laser block boop all right you need to test it thoroughly yep uh, mount it press tab resource laser put it on a thing now the tech reactor reactor capacity 35 out of 100 all right you can see the reactor carrier, the tech function will start to deteriorate. Okay. Laser! Head over to the middle deposits and, and blast with the laser. Blast some plants! Oh, these plants can't be blasted. One or more of your weapons get out fires of fire and are blocked. Okay, so it's got some 
some stuff. Boom. There we go. We need more iron fragments. All right. There we go. Uh, it does real damage to techs. E, all right, what are we doing here? Activate the navigational systems. Halo indicator. Okay. Great. Halo display keys, points of interest, as well as nearby threats. Follow the blue pin on the halo indicator. I think we were just there. Yeah, there we go. Tech yard. Block storage and stuff. E to continue. E to claim. Tech yard is now registered to you. Tab to enter build. Okay, so we can do build mode. We can, like, take our laser off. We can go to a block catalog. Small battery. Okay. Attach a small battery. Take your time. Okay. Can we, like, rotate these? Oh, I see. Q and E. Oh, look at this. There we go. We should probably put my laser back on. All right. Check the power bar. Hey, look at that. Our power bar is powered up. Many different tech systems use power. Keep an eye on in case you run low, okay? Uh, your base also needs power. Let's craft a generator. Tab to open the menu. Crafting tab, okay. Items to craft. AC carbon generator. Needs iron. Six iron. Oh, we've got iron. There we go. Place the AC carbon generator onto one of the base platforms. There we go. V. Power on and off. Burns carbon. Power is transferred to all structures placed on the connected base panels. Okay. You picked up some carbon, but grab some more from the silo. I didn't pick up any carbon because I couldn't mine any of the plants. Um, along with some aluminum chunks we're about to need. Or aluminum carbon. There we go. Press none slash alt plus left click on the silo console to quickly transfer everything. Oh. There we go. Interact with the carbon generator. E. Alt click. Oh. No. Uh, up arrow. Shift. Oh, shift. Yeah, yeah. Shift click. There we go. Restore power grid. Oh, okay, so it's like, um... It's like, uh... What is it? Um... Satisfactory. Where you can, like, when the power goes off, then you have to reactivate it manually or something. Supply fabricator. Aluminum and carbon inside. Select the light aluminum re recipe to craft. Uh, let's see. Light ammo. Oh no, light ammunition. There we go. Ah, uh, come to Discord. Internet's not having a good time. This game is electric production. Stuff needs electricity. 100 pieces. Collect it from the output when it's done. Alright. Um, and then when it's done, I guess we can stop it from producing ammo? I can see this is, uh, this is one of those games where you just sit around waiting for stuff to get done. Alright, and then we can tell it to stop. There we go. Time to test combat functions. Move to the next waypoint. It's not on my compass. Why didn't you put the waypoint on my compass? Resources lasers okay in a fight, but it's better have more power firepower. Try this thing. 
the Vindur weapon. All right, let's see. Let's take this over here. Reactor load 10, same thing. It's half the load. There's way more damage. Uh, lower rate of fire, though. Okay. All right, the weapon is bound to right-click by default. When you're ready, move to the platform and start the combat test. Bonk. Initiate the live fire exercise. Press and hold. Can pick up all the parts. This guy's looking very sad. Looking pretty bad here, guy. Two-way edge connector. This guy doesn't look like he's doing so well. Oh, I see the cockpit. There we go. Hit the cockpit. You got some damage to repair. Your repair system is disengaged. Repair systems. Initiated. Alright, fully repaired somehow. Tab to enter build mode. So you can build at any time. Looks like I'll scroll in and out, that's great. Um back to the central thing. You can use C to copy a block selection, heading over and F to mirror a block that you're holding. That's cool. Um, there we go, now we want more cargo space. And more battery power. We're real heavy in the back though. Three-way connector. Some more wheels. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting, huh? Two-way connectors. C to copy a block you're hovering over. Basic wheel. connected together. I got more wheels. Small steering wheel. Oh, sorry, Mert. I'm not really get the cab. It kills it. Yep, got it. More blocks. The main game is helpful. Uh, let's see. No, we're not. We're not overcharged. Our tech reactor is still fine. I don't know what you're talking about, game. Ooh, another gun. Nice.
There we go. Put our guns on top. Put our resource laser over here. There we go. Nice. All right. Back to the central platform. Now we got more wheels. our base here if we want. I am back at the central platform. What do you want me to do? Take as long as you need and head back to the central platform when you're ready. Oh, oh, this, this isn't the central platform. This one over here is the central platform. Fine, fine. Okay. It's a good looking build, thanks. Snapshots, tech snapshots, initial tech, save tech. This is with more wheels. Exclamation point, there we go. You have an unlimited snapshot storage, save as often as you want. All right, great. Um, you can get it off any time as long as you've got the right blocks. Tab to exit. Test completed, you're good to go. Back to main menu, all right, there we go. So that's Terratech Worlds. That is pretty fun. I might have to check that out again at some point. But for now, let's go to the final game. Actually, Odd Sparks. We couldn't get this working, but what if we force it to use Proton Experimental? We'll see if that works. Oh, there we go. Proton Experimental is the one. That's the trick. Press any key. All right. Whoa, welcome to your demo. Okay. Early access starts April 24th. Okay. Welcome to Steam Next Festers. All right. Um, new game. Oh man, it's got a character and everything. Look at this guy. This guy looks like he could be 3D printed. Um, can we like randomize? Randomize all. Oh, it, just, it doesn't change. It doesn't change your weapon or anything. It's just like color, clothing, decorations. All right, that's fine. Close. Save and close. Alright. Warburg. Start. Oh, it sparks. Let's go! Okay. Cutscene. We've got some little dudes. Some very cute little houses. People are sitting around. Oh, that's me in my garish outfit. I'm relaxing on a bench. Okay. All your daily tasks are done. And you want to take a nap. You dream of adventure. But suddenly an intense crash comes down from the field and wakes you up. Oh no. Alright. Clean up the broken shed. It's clear there's no way to fix the shed. You begin to clean up the area. As you clean the debris of wood, you find a gleaming metal object in the middle of the mess. It crashed into your shed. You should replace your shed. Okay. Drag the mouse to be able to rotate. Zoom in and out. All right, so it's fixed isometric, but you can rotate it. That's that's cool. All right. Um, should rebuild my shed. Build. Storage. It's all locked. Spacebar to go back. Okay. Progression pin quests are the same for every player in the save. Okay. Um, gather some berries. I have to hold it down. The pick up stuff. Is there like space bar to auto pick up maybe? <laughs> Just poke it with your stick. Good job. Uh, space bar is combat I guess. 
I'll open the map to find the... Okay. Open the map to find the woodman. Woodman! There he is. Can I run with shift? I can. Maybe. I don't think so. Maybe not. Alright, here we go. Woodman. Mm. Hello. Something crashed in your shed. Okay. Five sawn timber. Accept and pin. Wooden logs from the logger. Mm. Alright. Get some wooden logs from the logger. Prepare some sawed timber in the shed. Okay. Deliver some wooden logs. There's the woodman's inventory. Here's the logger. Infinite resources. What? Do I have to stand here the whole time? Do I have to hold this down? Oh, I see. I have to hold down the craft button. And then I can right click and collect it and then deliver the wooden logs. Right click. There we go. Alright. Complete. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Here's the sawn timber you need. All I have to do is build the shed. Okay. Now I've got five wooden logs there and five in my inventory. Great. Not every building can be placed everywhere in the village. You can only build near your home. Build menu. Shed. Okay. Here we go. I'm going back to my house. Finished all my chores and then I crashed things. Here's where the shed was. Um, where else can I build here? Let's oh, see, this is... I see, I see. This is a no-go zone. This is a go zone. Alright, so I can only build it... I guess I want to build it here. Left-click to place R to rotate. There we go. Alright, talk to the Divine Researcher. Map. Oh, it's right here. Gather some more berries. What now? Don't know what to do? Press the map. See if someone has a quest for you. So this is very, like... I don't know. It's a little, a little bit weird. I don't like that you can't just do what you want. It's like, oh, place this thing in this area. Build this thing here. What is this now? This is Odd Sparks. Can we start Terratech World Series? Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, the game's not out yet, but yeah, maybe. Once it comes out or something. Divine Research, he's standing on a pile of books. Oh, it's very, it's very quirky. You help with a weird thing. I love weird things. Let's see. The strange piece of metal you picked up, broken shard, comes alive. Wrap yourself around your brooch and staff. Your brain is hacked. It's turning into <laughs> it's turning into cyberpunk. You can understand ancient writings. Oh no. Magic and devastation and spark. Yeah, yeah. This seems like some sort of evil metal parasite. It reminds me of the uh, oh, what are they called? The space fairies from Schlock Mercenary. I can't remember what they're called. You can understand incredible. Look at the village monument. Alright, no one knows what the village monument means. <laughs> Examine. Accept and pin. Alright. Tell me what you find. Yep. Because they didn't make any animations for you to walk around. Alright, here we go. There's the village. Everyone just stands around, does nothing. Hi, merchant. Uh, merchant doesn't have anything to sell. Okay, here's some sort of monument. It's a chimney with a tree grown out of it. This gives me a little bit of um, of hob vibes. There's a little bit of a hob feeling. The village monument looms above you. Yeah, your radiant your thing radiates a soft light. 
Writing appears and disappears. Can't catch all the information. Danger! Corrupted Aether! Hear the monument rattle. Nothing happens. Danger life critical. Empty key slots. You should turn to... Okay, village monument. We gotta make some key slots. Notebook. Wood items. Sawn timber. Leaves. Construction shed. Okay, so this is like a bunch of... Running. Oh, when you're on a path, you go faster. Ah, that's cool. That's a cool thing. Alright. Hey there, guy. You can understand the carvings of the Divine Ruin. Something about hope. Aw. So hopeful. Alright. Spark key. Cleansing pulse. Uh, if an individual's just explore, uh, the Aether itself felt strange. Some use the word corrupted. It would explain why it talks about corrupted Aether. This feels like this is kind of like translated or something. Is this translated from another language? Hey, cat! Activate the monument. The divine researcher believes you. Okay, use the spark key. No one has ever seen or heard of before. Ugh, this is so contrived. I don't like it. I don't like this. Activate the monument. You have to find the missing spark keys. Okay. Berry bush. You get leaves from a berry bush. Okay. I have to find some missing spark keys or something. Oh, look at this. I don't have a... don't have a thing to... Chop down pine trees. Oh, this is cool, though. You can climb up on stuff. What's this? It's an old mine shaft. A dangerous place that you do not have permission to go into. You need permission. All right, I'm done with this. Don't. Don't tell me I need permission to go into the old mine shaft. Uh, sure, do you want to quit? Yes. Okay. Quick game. Yes. I don't want to have to ask permission to play a game. Uninstalled. Too quirky. Too much asking permission. Summer House we already played. It's a little painting game. Uninstalled. If I want to do stuff, I can build stuff in Blender. Have you played Terratech Worlds? Yes. Uh, oh, no, I haven't played Terratech Worlds. I played the demo. Synergy. All right, let's see what Synergy's like. So far, Terratech Worlds is winning as far as, as far as stuff. Hey, this is just working right out of the box. So many splash screen things. Synergy. Okay. Very artsy. Artsy 2D side scrolling platformer? No man's land. Alright. Continue. Uh. Continue. Analyze plants using the field lab to understand how they work. I think plants are kind of a unknown. An end to the wandering. We've been wandering around, and we're gonna. Do a thing. Get some water. Here's the water tower. Water tower. Cellar. Small warehouse. Right, middle click to drag to find a water spot. Oh, look at this. Open the construction basin. Build a retention basin, pontoon for extraction. Okay, makes sense. Um, do I have to rotate it? Shift to flip the building. Um, it's red. 
want I don't want I want it to hmm. why can't I shift oh I see this is this is the kind of pontoon I want that's a little bit strange you can't like rotate it okay there we go pontoon retention basin and a water tower. And a water tower. Alright. Time speed up. Great. So these guys are... They've got our starting storage thing. Okay, cool. So this, it's got settlers. The settlers kind of vibes to it. Feels like the settlers a bit. 4x speed. Oh, that's as much as you can speed it up. Pontoon completed. Water tower completed. Inactive. Extracting, purifying, storing water. All right, we did it. Assign two citizens to the pontoon. Two citizens to the pontoon. And one to the retention basin. There. There we go. They're extracting water. We now have water treatment. Okay. Obtaining water. Clean water is crucial. Okay. Dry season. A cycle is 40 days. Build two retention basins. Okay. We need another retention basin. And uh, obtain 20 clean water. Water tower. Clean water. Zero out of 20. Don't store toxic water. I don't want that. Tension basin. This guy's just sitting here. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. Nice. Two guys are at work here. Now we're going to assign somebody and need some more water. Obtain 20 clean water. So this pontoon produces. Toxic water recovery. Number of citizens, two days per citizen. Eight days, two days. All right. So this guy, okay, now this guy's producing water. 20, oh, this produces 20 at a time. Well, that's nice. So we should probably build another water tower then. There we go. Water tower, great. Um, we slept too long under the open sky. You guys don't know how to make tents? Come on. Murdermer can't play Terratech. Oh, sorry, man. Resource withdrawal. Withdrawal? Extraction. Withdraw resources action. It's available on the quick action bar. Withdraw resources and plants from the map so you can collect them. Okay. Rock from rock clusters. Withdraw them. Build a small warehouse. Okay. Build one small warehouse. rocks are over here. Alright, so we'll build like... Let's build our warehouse right here. Carry one withdrawed resource rock cluster. Resource extraction. Oh, 
this is all build menu. Withdraw resources. There we go. Withdraw some of them resources. We'll, we'll withdraw some of these guys too. 30 rock. 30 boreal rock. Bark. There we go. Housing. Citizens need a roof over their heads. They don't know how to build tents because they're totally incompetent. If these guys are like nomads, they should have tents, right? What's wrong with these guys? All right, whatever. Drawn directly from nearby cellar. They would be, must be within the cellar's range. Clean water and food in a cellar. 20 units of resources to bring those in. Accepted resource. Okay. Transport priorities. It's vital important to keep a sufficient number of citizens unassigned able for courier duty. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is very uh, resource placement kind of deal here. Okay, water tower. Uh, don't store toxic water here, please. And then you can stop refining. Oop. You guys can stop producing water here. Um, and you guys can finish. And once you're done, then we'll have water here too. Great. Small warehouse. Oh, look at all this stuff. Artwork and books and glass and all kinds of things. Yeah, yeah. This is very The Settlers. Feels very The Settlers. Okay. Um, a tent. See? They can build tents. Pfft. Trails. Okay. Cellar. Here we go. Let's build a cellar. And then have three houses within the range of the cellar. Stone house. One. Two. Three. Beginning of a new cycle. It's a temperate season. Alright, you guys can stop working there. We got plenty of water. Twenty water there. We got sixty water there. Forty water there. Stock forty requested. Eighty. All right, cellar. Here we go. Clean water. We got twenty clean water. Moisture pads. Pods. Moisture pods. Cool, cool. I love the uh, the cutaway kind of look to these guys. This is very cool. Can't see inside the stone houses, but that's all right. Pontoon. Um, how many guys do we have here? I don't even know how many guys we got. Population ten. So we could probably have. You probably have like one guy working at each of these. Stone house almost done. There we go. Did it. All right, curiosity. Uh, let's see, old distiller. Four adults and zero children have joined the city. Oh man, we got a bunch more people now. Build a field lab. Health, thorn, and temperature. Hardy. 
harvested instead of destroying. Okay, yeah, nice. It says it doesn't destroy the plant, harvest, or older continues to be applied. Okay, that's nice. Build a field lab. Build a picker cabin. Um, maybe like over here? Let's see. Field lab. And a picker cabin. Infirmary. Um, flora. Picker's cabin. There we go. There we go. Required resource bark. How much bark do we have? Minerals. Bark. 43 bark. Alright, so we got bark. Got enough bark to build stuff. This is kind of, um, the look is, is kind of ghibli a little bit. Field lab is done. Probably want someone assigned here. I would imagine. Probably want someone here. Homeless citizens. Oh no! Oh no! Should build another stone house. There. Uh, picker cabin. Almost there. There we go. All right. Analyze the moisture pods bearing plant. Cinder sprout. Field lab. Analysis. Current. Bad analysis. Surface analysis. Analysisizing it. Riverbank finger. Um, moisture pod. Rock cluster. Maybe we need to find uh, moisture pod things. Extract some resources. Picker's cabin. Add a task. Fruit picking. Harvest these guys. Moisture pond. Okay, so maybe sharp bush. Maybe I should have built it up here. Um, field lab. Let's build a field lab up here. Let's see the tutorials again. Uh-huh. Hmm. Are they still... Yeah, they did it already. Um, cinder sprout. What does that give us? doesn't say. Pick. What do you have? Fruit picking. Analyze 
is that thing and that thing. Oh, we don't have to build a new one. Alright, so this we can destroy. Destroy buildings. There. Alright. Trying to find a moisture pod thing. Analysis. Sharp bush. Another guy come over here. Analyze some stuff. Sunshade tree. Sharp bush. Moisture pod. Cabbage shrub. We're just not uh, receiving analysis report. Riverbank finger. Partially pruning causes it to die. All right, so don't kill it. Draw resources, you get seeds, but then he's exposed to toxic spray. Okay. Sharp bush. Moisture pods, there we go. Um, picking. You can pick moisture pods, all right. Great. So then we want the fruit picker man to fruit picking. Um, select items. There we go. Oop, nope. Select items. There we go. Pick some more fruits. What is this? Some sort of... Okay. Great. You'll get another guy on there. Uh, you guys, you should analyze these plants some more. Analysis report. Sunshade tree. Trunk and uses bark. All right. Oh, so you analyze them again. Cinder sprout. We've only got four moisture pods so far. Let's see. Add some more items. You just like drag over a whole area. Look at this. It's a little bit unintuitive how this is set up, but okay. Hey, analysis report. Here we go. Cinder sprout is too delicate. If we wanted to, we could collect all the bark. Harvest the bark sustainably for picking, pruning. Cinder kernels from pruning. Oh, neat. Surface analysis. All right. Cool. All right, our harvestings and cinder things. How are we doing here? We got one guy on toxic water recovery. One guy on water recovery. We got a couple water towers. Great. Um, what else can we analyze? Fruit bank finger. 
Can you analyze these guys? These guys. What's that thing? Oh, it's a tree still. Resource refining. All right, we got the moisture pods. Acquire some more resources to go to the, the refining stage. Recipe, base cost, true cost. Okay. Build a kitchen and a forge. Oh boy. Resource extraction, refining. Here we go. Oh, we, we built our houses just slightly too close together. Oh well. There we go. Kitchen and a forge. Maybe we can build a forge here. Great. 40 simple meals and 10 tools. We got a lot of poultices and cures and ointments and things. Not so much bark left. All right, well, I think it's time to... I think it's time to call it a day. This is interesting. Um, I'm not quite sure what the game is here. Like, I, I understand, um, like, Universe Sim has got a game in it. Uh, this just feels more like just placing stuff down. Maybe there's some, uh, maybe there's some, like, behavior and impact. Maybe there's some, like, synergy between the plants or something, and you have to, like, construct your settlement in such a way that it synergizes with the, the trees and the plants and things, but we haven't gotten there yet. Um, so far, it's very chill. Um, not at all challenging, as far as I can tell, but I don't know, maybe... I'm not sure what the, what the challenge is here. Cabbage shrub. You can get vegetables. So you can have them pick things, you can have them prune things. And then, uh, same thing here. The only way you can get stuff from the tree is to cut it down. Kitchen. Alright, 40 simple meals. Simple meal. There we go. Somebody make us some meals. There, three people. Three people making meals. Oof. It's a big old forge. Is it an induction furnace? <laughs> vegetables. We have zero vegetables. So we have to extract some vegetables, I guess. Moisture pods. Harvesting. Um, fruit picking. Add a task. Trimming. Here we go. Vegetables. Ooh, you can get icy. This is kind of nice. It's a nice interface here. I guess we need two fruit picker guys. One to do trimming and one to do harvesting or something. I'm not sure how this works. All right, forge is done. Default method. Making tools. 
couple guys, three guys working on that. These guys are doing nothing. They don't have any vegetables. Oh no, these don't give us vegetables, they give us cinder kernels. Alright, well, I'm gonna save it. Uh, wait, no. We're gonna go back to the main menu. Confirm. Alright. Huh. So that's, that's interesting. That is interesting. I'm not gonna uninstall it. Synergy and Terratech worlds, we'll come back to them later. But for now, I'm going to call it a day, or a morning at least, and I uh, hope you guys have a good one. See you around.